Hello, Ponderers. Welcome to another Ponderings. This one is about attitudes and values in dealing with information. Please join me in an after-class thinking about different attitudes and values in dealing with information. By thinking well about these 12 questions, sana makita ng bawat isa ang mga right attitudes and values in dealing with different information. Yes, uh, many of us simply just watch, uh, simply just listen, and it ends there. Uh, we don't even ask questions kung ang pinapanood natin ay kapakipakinabaw sa ating buhay or what we are watching has a practical use. The founders here in this channel, I feel uh, we can consider, of course, asking uh, or finding the relevance of the information this video presented to us. Ang information ba na narinig mo ay pinag-aaralan ng beauty? Are you looking at all the perspectives? You will be hearing new information. Are you still considering the previous information that was taught to you by your teachers? Especially uh, mga grade 10 students na naging grade 11 na ngayon. Grade 11 and grade 12 and those who are already in the colleges and university. It is cool to consider uh, the past learnings that you have to build on it. I do not mean that uh, you will remain static and it changes through time. What I'm saying is uh, the best things that you learn, such as critical thinking, if you may, please keep it on you. Uh, I really feel that there's something that is uh, needed as you learn new things. As humans, we're affected by uh, this because uh, it hits our emotions. Ang mga speeches ng mga politicians usually ang target ng hindi yung mind, ang target ng yung heart. Let's not forget to use reasoning. No, wag lang basta ma-affect ang emotion ng mind. Uh, we got to find application. And I feel this is something that we can always ask. Where shall I use the information that you're giving me? I am trusting that, of course, teachers always consider uh, in their lesson planning uh, what's the practical use of the lesson that I will teach to my students. For me, uh, napakalaga na may practical use ng mga tinuturo natin at ng mga natutunan natin. I really feel that this is something that uh, we have a all of us have an opportunity on. You know? Yes, it's difficult to cite sources. You know? It's additional work, uh, meaning you study, and then susulatin mo pa through APA citation, itong mga pinanggalingan ng mga sinabi mo, no? sa yung essay, uh, sa yung research. But really, that's the uh, right thing to do. Uh, this is not owned by you. You got this from other people and you got to acknowledge them. I think ito yung isa sa mga magiging bagay na kailangan natin pagtunan ng pansin kasi uh, citing sources is a must. Lalo na if you go to the higher level of education you know, again ng senior high school and in the university. Next one, I am keen in seeing lies and propagandas. For me, uh, isa yung tamang bagay. We got to be really extra sharp in seeing lies and propagandas. You know, I sinasabi ko sa klase na you can consider doubting politely, asking questions, and finally, you can, of course, do further researching. Also, uh, three filter tests. So, if we are receiving information, we can filter those information. The first filter will be the filter for truth. We can ask the source, is what you're saying true? What are your evidences? Where did you get those information? What are your sources? Then we can use another filter, that's the filter for goodness. We can ask, uh, the information that you're giving us, uh, will that do good to us? Make a butian ba yung information na sinasabi mo? And the third one is the filter of utility. 
o yung usefulness. Uh, we can ask her, is the information useful? Uh, may gamit ba ito sa aking buhay? If the information fails to go through the three filters, filter of truth, filter of goodness, and filter of usefulness or utility, then, sabi ko sa mga students ko, we can ignore that information or we can uh, say that, uh, I'm sorry, but your, the information that you're providing is not true. I hope your answer to this is uh, across. No? We have to care for information. Honestly, uh, when I ask uh, my students, you know, one student raises his hand, and honestly, you know, sir, I really don't care for that information. Uh, I try to reach uh, them you know, and say that you're growing up, you know, you're maturing, and definitely you will be uh, someone. Definitely you will have a profession, uh, you will court someone, uh, you will have a um, family, you know, and Therefore, it will require you to really uh, be critical. Because soon, uh, you know, when we're when, 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 uh, you will be the one to be guiding the younger ones. Uh, that's the way of life. And uh, you can guide them uh, to be critical thinkers. Yeah, that's a big shot. It's important, lalo na, I feel for my previous, uh, previous students na sa senior high school na ngayon, I really feel na talaga important na you are minding, you know, you're putting at heart all the information that you're learning in senior high school because um, uh, I like to think, you know, na ito talaga ay gagamitin do sa world of work. I really want to say na you can also study uh, by yourself. You can really research, you know, ang dami naman ng mga technology available uh, uh, gaya ng mga uh, you know, videos sa YouTube, you know, informi- printed uh, articles online. I hope you can, you would not be satisfied with uh, just your teacher teaching you. You can find more information by yourself, you know, this uh, independent study plus your teacher's guidance during senior high school. I hope you check that too. Uh, I observed uh, the youth today, they, they uh, lose a lot of time uh, in reels. Uh, when I happen to browse YouTube and then I ko yung mga suggested videos, for some reason I got trapped. You know? and, and then I scroll up and all things that are flashing or interesting, uh, as if really that device knows what I like. And yun nga naman talaga, it uses algorithms and predictions, you know? of what you click. So the result is hindi ka makatakas, ano, you, are, you are captured uh, there. Yung oras mo na ubus doon. So yeah, we got to be uh, really, uh, have the capacity to determine kung ano yung important na information, kung ano yung hindi important na information. I inform my grade then about quantitative data. These are data that we get from statistics, you know, from surveys. I also inform them about uh, qualitative data. These are information that we can get through interviews, observations, interpretations, uh, personal experiences, and the experiences of others, and even artifacts, uh, and many more. And as I said, I have an idea that uh, if we really focus on this, uh, we will be able to see the beauty of this too and we can combine it and uh, we can have a mixed method of research. The point that was acting vlog for this week. This is about uh, information and learning lessons of grade 10. I hope in my own way I have shared something important today. This is Teacher Gilvan. See you once again in Ponderings.